Hello, Zero K fans, and welcome to Nanolades at Dawn. I'm your host, Shadow Fury 333, and today we're going to be starting out with a match between Hellwar and North Chilean G on Ackland Wastelands, a map which I haven't actually seen in a while. I have played it recently, but I haven't seen it played by other people. Hellwar going for the gunship factory, which makes a lot of sense. This is a very large map, and it's very easy to set up a gunship setup at the start. And North Chilean G going for Cloaky, going for the Gremlin, which makes sense because they're expecting a gunship start. And they are right to do so. So North Chilean G probably going to run that gremlin right into Hellwar's base, scout out the gunship plant, and Hellwar rather intelligently put in the gunship plant in the back of the base. I actually did try this exact strategy. Well, almost exact. I always throw in gnats with ban my banshees, but I tried this a few days ago, and it didn't work because it was the front of the base and the gremlin spotted it, and also because of all the gnats, it took forever to build up. So the way Hellwar is doing it, a bit better. Now, if they manage to spot that gremlin and kill it before it can scout anything, that'd be even better. But at this point, North Chilean G setting up for a ground-based setup. They haven't seen the air yet. And Hellwar will probably get that done within the next minute. I mean, it takes a couple minutes for the gremlins to get across, so there is still a decent amount of time. However, the Banshees... The Banshees are going on a straight path. They're going to fly straight into that gremlin. North Chilean G will be able to see what's happening, and three Banshees against what's there right now should be enough, but North Chilean G will probably put most of the resources into a Razor or a Stardust once they see that Banshee built up. And there we go, okay. Hellwar realizing their mistake, going around the side. The Gremlin will be able to spot what's going on, but I think at the speeds, it should be too late. The Banshees will be able to get into North Chilean G's base, so yeah, just so you know, if is wanting to do this sort of cheese strategy, look at the timing here. It's about a minute and 33, the Gremlin's right here. And the Banshees are going out. So try to get your Banshees out by about a minute and a half at the latest. Maybe a minute 20. Just to be safe. Because this was a starting Gremlin. Very first unit built Gremlin. And it looked like the priority was set for the factory. So it was built... Actually, didn't matter. That was enough resources. So that was a Gremlin as fast as possible. Across the map as fast as possible. Takes two minutes to get into your base. So North Hellwar just now getting scouted. Or not even just now. Still going to take a while to get scouted. Like, by the time it's scouted, the Banshees will have arrived. And there's no defenses. Well, not even a, a defender. Nothing. Hellwar's getting a nice surprise here. Well, I should say North Chilean G is getting a terrible surprise. But yes, Hellwar's getting a pleasant surprise in that there's nothing to defend. Getting rid of a Conjurer right off the bat. Perfect. That Conjurer is, as I've always said, the thing you want to get rid of first. Get rid of the Builders. That slows everything else down. The next priority... It's kind of a tough call. The Glaives do need to go away, but the Wind Generators are... I agree with the Wind Generators. Get rid of those. Deal what damage can be dealt. Also good plan. Getting rid of the the more external metal extractors. But these Banshees can't be too close. The Gremlin has already come into play, and there are no Gnats or anything to deal with anything else besides just damage. There's no way to stun. There's no way to deal any damage immediately, like with Rapiers. Everything involves the Banshees risking their own lives. Speaking of Rapiers, though, we do have a few Rapiers being built up because that is a proper follow-up. It helps get rid- well, yeah, it's better against the gremlins because they can hit and run. Like, rapiers are great for that sort of thing, and a razor being built up, but it's not going to be built up fast enough. Nothing being built in the main base either, being as this is the only conjurer in play. And the construct- the commander, of course, is also doing its thing, but it is not currently building any razors, so North Chilean G losing a lot of their economy, and is actually also excessing quite a lot as well, should finally be able to get their commander to their factory. Not sure why it took them so long bit of a weird pathing fail, unfortunately for them. But, that is a lot of damage dealt by Hellwar, and no damage dealt to them. The Banshee is... The one that was damaged is fully healed up. Oops, which one was it? This one. Yeah, it's almost fully healed up now. So, really, Hellwar got that for free. And they got the nice expansions. They are getting scouted a little bit. It looks like... Well, North Chilean G did see everything, but they aren't currently getting information. They don't know if an additional factory is being built. They don't know if more units are coming in. I mean, the Banshees are still going for it. And wow, that's really risky there. M might want to stop and not die. No, that wouldn't be a bad idea. It looks like Hellward just very careful to make sure that they are attacking specifically where it's most effective. But at the same time, the Rapier is going to come in and that'll help deal a bit more damage. But even then, I don't know, it's... There are so many gremlins at this point. Currently five gremlins inside the base, along with the Conjurer that's probably going to be building some more defenses if more air units come in. So at this point, Hellwar really should be thinking about switching. They're about to lose- they're, down goes one of the Banshees, that is... Retreat, like that is the reason to retreat. 
That is a retreat-worthy event. Get those Banshees out of there. There's no point. They're going to just be a metal donation if you keep going. The Rapier has a bit more of a chance because of the fact that it is hit and run, or potentially hit and run, but it's also slower and thus takes more damage, so this isn't working either. North Chilean G needs to build up some more defenses, but they are also rebuilding their metal extractors, which is... I this, That's the thing you're supposed to do. That's correct. A little bit excessive in how they set up the queue to do that, but yeah, they are rebuilding everything. At the same time, though, Hell War... They have switched over to the Spiderbot Factory, just about to, half a minute away from doing so, and still building up more and more Banshees. There's four Banshees in play, so one's been replaced, and, and a new one on top of that. A couple Rapiers as well. At this point, it looks like Hellwar is focusing almost entirely on building up their economy, not at all on building up any military, really. Their factory has been near idle. It's been building some workers, but otherwise near idle. They have been focusing everything on their economy. And on this map, that makes sense. That is the correct choice of action. The correct course of action on this map. It is an economy map. It allows for some gunship cheese right at the start of the game, but it is ultimately an economy map, and Hell War transitioning beautifully to that with a 25 metal to 14 metal advantage. Roughly. So, yeah. Hell War is going to be having a much easier time into the mid-game than North Chilean G. As well as the fact that all these fleas can just run around getting gremlins. A great choice in the Spider-Bite Factory for the fleas, because the thing about cloaked units is you want to have screener units to get rid of them. Cheap screening units, like fleas, as these ones have done, and Hell War reacting properly. There we go. Gets rid of those gremlins. Yeah, get rid of those gremlins. Do not let them live. Do not let them do their thing. The fleas should actually support this nicely, come to think of it. Because if they get rid of the gremlins, that means that the air units can go around with impunity. The ground units are... Like, there's no anti-ground units, really. Granted, all you need are glaives and North Chilean G on that with emergency built glaives. But still, for all these side... Exp all these expansions over here, who cares? The fleets can just come over here, although it looks like Hell War's not going to go that way. This looks like a mistake. The fleets are about to get torn to shreds by the glaives. The rapiers aren't nearby to kill the glaives. The rapiers wreck glaives completely, but they're not around. And the Banshee's going in for a suicide mission. Why are you doing that? Get them out of there, Hell War. Losing two of them in the process. I mean, they have three more on top of that, so they have five in total. But still, that... Uh, that's the thing. When you're trying to apply pressure, you've got to make sure to apply pressure on the peripheries. Trying to attack the main base... That just gives your opponent all the advantages. However, at this point, the Rapiers are in play. So at least that is going to be a bit better. The Glaives will have a bit of an easier time dealing with all this. Sorry, the, the air units, not the Glaives. The Glaives will be dealt with more easily. But now the Fleas are gone, and that's it for screening units. Bit of damage to be dealt, but if it had been over here, there would have been no question. This entire expansion would have been destroyed. At this point, there are th oh, two Gremlins and a Conjurer right there. Nothing else, so Fleas would have Field Day ripping it apart on their own, not even with the air support, just going there. Same over here. Like That's the thing when you're dealing with this stuff, is peripheral damage. That's what you want to do. You want to make sure your opponent can't expand any farther than where they can easily defend, which is basically their main base, and maybe the surrounding area. This is not the main base. This is totally disconnected. There is nothing here to defend. There's a couple Glaives that have come in, so it's a little bit harder now, but up until now, it hasn't been a problem. As well, and you are getting an air factory, and it is getting some vultures, which will be useful. Especially if Hellward does decide to start actually harassing properly. But it's going to be tricky. I don't think Hellward is going to even focus on that. I think Hellward is trying to just pound down North Chilean G's main door and tear them apart. I think that's the entire strategy here. Although it looks like some of the hermits are actually deciding to go along the side. What does Hellward know? Hellwar has basically no radar, which will, the Vultures will definitely help with. So, I mean, they have no way of knowing other than guessing. So, I guess I can kind of see why they did what they did, but still. The Vultures should be able to provide the intelligence they need. So that, at the very least, they can be a bit more calculated in how they set up their attacks. At this point, though, it's not working out so well. Those gremlins are still a problem, and yeah, there are still fleas, but the gremlins are being escorted, and at this point... It's hard to say whether or not it's worth keeping the gremlins. I mean, the spider gunship mix makes sense. They're both all-terrain, and the gunships kind of help the fleas, and the fleas most certainly help the gunships. So it's a good synergy there. At least, 
until we get into some of the heavier units. I mean, once we start getting warriors on... If we get warriors in play, come to think of it. Which I kind of doubt, honestly. I don't think North Trilangy is going to do that just because they're trying to go for fast response armies. At this point, though, it actually is going to work out nicely for Hellwar. North Trilangy's economy has gotten healthier, but Hellwar is making the synergy work for them. And North Trilangy, while they are trying to counter it with the Glaives and the Fleas, it makes sense to counter with that. It's just very difficult to arrange them together. Sorry, Gremlins and Fleas. Gremlins and Glaives. Gremlins and Glaives together, yeah, it's not a bad idea, but Gremlins don't deal a huge amount of damage. And Fleas are really numerous. They can kind of get past the Glaives enough. At this point, with these numbers of Glaives, it's going to be much harder. But at the same time, Hellwar already has four factories going. 45 metal per second. The Ravens, for whatever reason. I'd personally be going with more Phoenixes myself, but whichever. And, of course, heavier Spider units like Redbacks, Venoms, Hermits, whatever. Fleas are not as necessary. See, so Hellwar going very multi-army, or very multi-form army here. I'm a little... I'm a little curious what they're going to do with these Scorchers, though. I mean, obviously they're going to be using it for raiding of some kind. There's no reason to be using it for this combat here. Other than maybe as a distraction. So the only thing I can really see is Redbacks for that, or if they built Phoenixes, but they haven't. Ah, going for the Levelers. Okay, so they are using the Light Vehicle to deal with this army of Gremlins and Glaives. Yeah, the rate these... These Scorches here should be able to avoid most of the armies coming in for North Chilean G. Get around and behind. North Chilean G is going for a pretty decisive blow into the center of Hellwar's base. And there's not a whole lot to defend this. I mean, the flip side is that at the same time, Hellwar is going for one. And they are, in terms of composition, I think in a healthier position. Like, these Scorchers aren't under much threat. There's still four of them left. If they want to go for a commander kill, they could definitely do so. And at the same time, oh, same time though, Thunderbird, or yeah, Thunderbird finishing off, or allowing these to be finished off. And finally, we have a warrior up to get rid of the Scorchers. But at the same time, we did have a couple of Ravens over to the Southwest to deal with basically that expansion that should have been dealt with five minutes ago, but it's dealt with now. So it kind of works. However, North Chilean G actually had an economic and production advantage. Hell War falling behind, North Chilean G was able to expand pretty consistently throughout that whole thing. While also attacking, so North Chilean G might be able to turn this around. It's a bit tricky, though, and I still think Hellwar has the composition advantage, but if the economy turns against them, Hellwar could very easily fall behind. They just completely lose. And North Chilean G... Getting considerably more confident with, with their Thunderbird, and Hellwar not stopping these units from attacking. I think they're not too worried about it, though, because it looks like they're figuring, well, the Disarm will... It'll go away in time. It'll go away quickly enough. No big deal. They're probably right. But at the same time, they've got to deal with this. They... they got to get rid of the expansions over to the side. They have... Or, do they still have their Banshees? I can't even find them. I mean, it looks like... The main army... Okay, the main army is actually getting Venom to death. So that's North Chilean G's main army, and that's where the problem lies. The, these warriors are going to be a pain to deal with. So that's where it really is going to come in, but I think the Banshees are all dead. I don't see any... Oh. Some brawlers, but yeah, the Banshees have all died. Rapiers have all died. Scorchers are taking a beating, and they're about to all die. But at the same time, the Southwest base has been pretty well taken care of. And that Razor's still not going down. That is that Raven gonna die? That Raven's not gonna die. But it is gonna take some damage. Just makes it take longer to refuel and rearm. Because it has to refuel, re well, rearm and repair. Not really refuel. At any rate. Hellwar still does have the army, but man, those Thunderbirds for North Chilean G. If it weren't the fact that there aren't a whole lot of follow-up forces that'll come in within the next 15 seconds, it wouldn't really matter too much. Oh, no, no, go forward. Oh, she, uh, never mind, no, that works. So I to say, go forward, that'll avoid the glaze hitting you in the next 15 seconds. Or five seconds, rather. But it doesn't really matter. Hell, we're paying very close attention to that particular combat. Not paying as much attention to what's going on over here. Well, paying a bit of attention. Not a huge amount. If you look at where Hellwar is actually paying attention together, yeah, they're, they're kind of going back and forth between those two places. 
getting some reclaim as well, which is what they need. Definitely, they are still behind economically. Not paying attention to this, though. They don't want to move forward into the defenders, which I'm pretty sure they could survive, no problem. But at this point, managing to get a decent amount of damage dealt. It's just that North Chilean G is able to carve through the center, and a lot of what Hellwar has is undefended. A lot of what North Chilean G has, there are some defenses, and where there aren't defenses, North Hellwar is not getting rid of them. And they are getting finally rid of this line of defenders and the metal extractors behind them, but these levelers, they have a, they have a bunch of free metal extractors they aren't taking. They aren't being ordered to take those metal extractors, and that is going to cost Hellwar the game if they're left alive. North Chilean G with a 10 metal per second advantage is not something you want to have. Or anyone with a 10 metal per second advantage. Doesn't matter who they are. Any advantages should be eliminated if possible. Okay, so this is the focus, clearly. Getting the strider up. Kind of sucks that most of the assisting construction was destroyed in that little bombing run. The Dante will still be a few minutes out before it's actually built. And now, with North Chilean G fully aware of this, they know what the stakes are, and they're going to probably go for it. Especially with all, the, I mean, with all the stunning they have, too. This isn't hard. They can just stun everything. Next down all these Scorchers, rip them to shreds. If, or actually, no. Whoa. Never mind. The anti-air is working out beautifully for Hell War. North Chilean G losing all the Thunderbirds. They have, like, two... And one of them is almost dead. And what the heck is that one doing? And one of them has apparently decided to go skating across the ground. How very bizarre. I have never seen a plane do that. At any rate, though, it did do the job and the Scorchers are now basically dead. What the heck is that one doing? It, okay, so a Thunderbird forgot how to fly, apparently. I did not realize planes in this game could forget how to fly. But this one has indeed done so. See, I thought I did, had died. No, well, whatever. Point is, North Chilean G going for this little last-ditch attempt to get rid of the Dante, and honestly, it's working out quite nicely, because like I said, they have... They have enough of an army, they have the economic advantage, they have a lot of territory, and they're going to turn that into reclaim. As soon as they get any workers nearby. Where are the workers? No, seriously, where are the workers? There should have been some nearby. There were some earlier. But I don't see any. I mean, Hellwar is still able to fight back, but hasn't really been harassing. Finally getting some... Okay, finally got rid of those metal extractors over to the northeast. Getting some brawlers to help deal with this stuff, but it might be too little too late. North Chilean G is already well inside Hellwar's base. Doesn't have much to worry about from Hellwar. I mean, with the air force... Basically, North Chilean G has air control. So Hellwar has no easy way of getting in except for these brawlers, and North Chilean G will probably retreat once they come up. And North Chilean G has a lot of money to work with. And brawlers take a long time to kill things. They aren't exactly... They, they are using that machine gun. It's a lot of continuous damage, but it's not likely to get through anti-air. I mean, remember, bombers can't hit gunships. So, all those ravens could still deal the damage. Not to mention, the ravens are coming in. Like, five ravens coming in, that's pretty much enough to kill anything that's not a factory at this point. Like, say, this Strider Hub, for instance, which is the only thing building up the Dante. And I don't think that Dante's even going to be finished before the game's over at this rate, unless Hellwar's able to push out everything North Chilean G is sending... I mean, this is what I was talking about at the very beginning of the game. Hellward did not really harass effectively. They were trying to go for the main base and didn't turn that into any meaningful damage. Ah, going for the Dante instead. Not going for the Strider Hub. How odd. But it'd make more sense to go for the Strider Hub and stop it from being constructed in the first place, but apparently that's not their priority at the moment. I guess they figured that there would be something else to come and build it, but there hasn't so far been. This Caretaker could, it just isn't. And there are no constructors nearby. So that Strider Hub is literally the only thing building that. And not to mention, Hellwar has no money, has no energy economy. Like, they can't build anything right now. They're dead in the water. This brawler attack is their only real hope. Managing to get rid of the commander, though, and the air pad. The air pad's a big deal. That's going to give Hellwar a lot of breathing room to work with. I mean, the brawlers are donating a lot, are donating, I don't know how much metal they're donating, a thousand metal so far? 
Yeah, about 1,200 metal was just donated, but at the same time, got rid of a factory, almost got rid of the second, the airplane factory, got rid of the commander, got rid of the airplane, the air pad. So North Chilangi, while they are ahead in economy, most of their forces are now waiting on rearming. So that, that is the breathing room that Hellworn needs. They aren't going to get hit by bombing runs quite so often. They can rebuild their energy, they can get that Dante up. They might be able to make this assault work, the follow-up assault, because there isn't much to deal with it, and the Thunderbirds are not being rearmed. There's only one Thunderbird in play. Sorry, there's two. Where's the second one? Hmm. Looks like they're... Are they... No, they can't both be disarmed. Where's the other one? No, there's one here. Oh, right, the one that's getting around the map that doesn't do anything anymore. So, yeah, that's... A little unfortunate, though. There are still the Swifts. The Swifts are still doing a great job of dealing with this stuff. Hellwar, are you building energy? That is the most important thing right now. You need to build energy. There is nothing else you need to build right now other than more energy. And it looks like it's not being... Okay, it is being built. Some wind generators are being built on low ground, unfortunately, but they are still effective right now. So Hellwar getting their energy economy back online. An air pad has not been rebuilt from North Chilean G yet. And quite a bit of damage being dealt, so finally Hellwar getting a bit of revenge. But I don't know what is really going to happen here. Hellwar finally... Okay, their economies... Their energy finally getting ahead of their metal. They have loads of reclaim to work with, too, and their commander is in pretty good shape. Not necessarily safe, but it's... Like I said, without the air pad, it's going to take a while for major bombing runs to be staged. Like, North Trilogy has to wait a couple minutes before they can actually send out any bombing runs. And while they can use the Swifts, and that would be effective... The commander does have the razor around them, so the Swiss would get torn to shreds rather quickly. The thing is, though, get that get the energy up and then start reclaiming. That's the most important thing right now. And stop reclaiming from North Chilean G as well. That's also important. Doing that will help, but North Chilean G, no caretakers. They have one worker. They're, they're not really producing that much. They're setting up the cranes to help get that production back online. But yeah, North Chilean G forced to excess thanks to losing all those factories and caretakers and all that production. Like, losing that production infrastructure was a blow. But at this point, it looks like another bombing run has been staged. It's finally ready. Took a few minutes, but it is going. And Hellwars Commander getting torn apart. That's Hellwars Commander down. So with that, the rest of this energy economy will probably go down too. Unfortunately for Hellwars, their only builder at the time was their commander. They, they did build a mason. But... That's not enough, that's not good enough for them, and they figure, well, I can't do this. And North Chilean G takes the game. Really, a lot of that was at the start. Like Hellwar had a massive economic advantage for most of the game, and they had massive unit advantage. The problem was just that they ended up like there was a battle. There was a bat. Well, okay, they didn't take this. They went for the main base, and they didn't do a whole lot of damage there. And they lost their early banshees. Ended up doing them less good as the game went on. And the flea banshee thing was kind of neat, but they didn't really expand behind it. While North Chilean G, during that fight, was constantly expanding, getting their economy up, and not getting harassed, even though they were wide open. And Hellwar really would have been far better off attacking the side bases, but didn't do so. And then North Chilean G just able to grind that into a win. Especially with those Thunderbirds. That was huge. I think if the Brawlers had managed to kill the Air Factory, then it would have been over. I don't think North Chilean G would have had a chance. They didn't have any other workers. Well, they had some in the in the field, but not many. If that air, if the air plant had gone, that would have been it. Because without the Air Factory, all of the air units would have been unable to re, to rearm, and without rearming, of course, they can't attack. And so we wouldn't have had that bombing run at the end, even though it took several minutes rather than maybe a few seconds, as it was with the air pad. It still eventually happened. So yeah, save for that bombing run, it would have been probably Hellwar getting back into this game, because that Dante would have would have been sizable firepower. Without the air factory to help out, then it would have been even more firepower relative to what North Chilean G had on the field. It would have been tough even then, though, because there would still have been a few Ravens, and probably at that point, air pads would have been rebuilt, and a lot more work would have been done to making the air come back into play. Because there were still conjurers around the map. Well, I can't see them anymore because they died since. But there were still a couple of conjurers around the map. They could have been used for that purpose. Yeah, there's one right here. And that probably would have pushed North Chilean G to build up more air pads. But it still likely would have helped. Unfortunately, the airplane plant was not destroyed by the brawlers, so it didn't ultimately work out. Nor was it destroyed by the spiders coming in later, which probably wouldn't have happened anyway for the amount of damage they were taking. 
But yeah, it kind of sucks the North Chilean Jesus attack didn't quite work out, because that would have at least stabilized the situation as far as getting attacked goes, giving Hellwar enough time to breathe, to build up, to get everything rebuilt and get enough energy for the reclaim to be effective, and then putting Hellwar back into a safe-ish safe position. Anyhow, that was that, so the next match is going to be between Anarchid and Aquanim on Fairyland, so stay tuned for that. It'll be up in a couple minutes.